So you guys, to start off with, I have this basic nose shape with me. Now it is really, really easy to create this. You just have to create a circle right in the middle and then just draw nostrils around it using that circle as guidelines. And I have not drawn the other parts of the nose, like the bridge of the nose, as I am going to be creating that by just using the soft air brush and the colorless brush now here i am using this color which is slightly darker than the skin color and i have created this circle right in the middle I, just because i want to give this nose a cute buttony look now i'm using this colorless brush and i'm not only blending out the edges of that harsh looking circle that we drew but also to create the other parts of the nose as the bridge of the nose you'll see what i'm talking about in a minute now i do have a video on my channel on how to blend colors on sketchbook and how these colorless brushes work so i'm not going to go into detail but I'm just going to tell you guys that these colorless brushes are exactly like the blending brushes we use in real life on paper, maybe Q-tip or anything of that sort. These colorless brushes work exactly the same. And keeping that in mind, I am using that um, feature of those brushes to create the other parts of the nose. So yeah, I I actually painted two lines around the bridge of the nose because uh, I was lacking color in my colorless brush if that makes any sense so I actually went ahead and added more color around it but you can still actually create a lot of things with just a colorless brush and it will appear much softer and base like so we are actually creating the base for the nose so also you guys have to keep in mind to create um to work in layers and as we are using different types of colors right here you must have noticed my palette i have um four or maybe five colors from orange undertone and four colors from pink undertone just because our skin is a combination of various undertones so i've chosen two and why and the reason why i have chosen colors from pink undertone is because of the fact that we have blood inside of us <laughs> so yeah now what i'm doing right here is i'm actually darkening up the nostrils so for that just make sure to darken up the very upper part of the nostrils and as you go down make sure to give it a feel as if the nostrils are kind of blending out with the skin if that makes any sense now once i'm done with that part uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a new layer and i'm gonna choose this really dark uh, version of that skin color and i'm just gonna start painting that at the very bottom of the nose now i'm gonna again start uh, using the colorless brush just to spread it out all over the tip of the nose as you guys can see and this brush works wonders and i'm doing a similar thing around the bridge of the nose as well you just have to put a bunch of or just a circle of color or maybe lines of colors there and just blend it out with the colorless brush and create a shape out of it that makes any sense it's quite easy it's not difficult at all trust me guys it's really really simple to do it actually requires practice if you're a beginner but it is easy it gets easier so that's what i'm doing right here and also adding some color a little bit of color right around um, the nose as well now here i am creating a new layer and i am placing it in between the two layers the base layer and the layer where we actually added the darker version of the skin color now i'm using this layer to add this maroonish dark color to the nose and as you guys can see i am adding this color in the form of little dots and i will be blending these little dots out and create a shape out of this this is easy you guys and um, yeah that's what I'm basically doing right here
also always try to keep some of the harsh shadows there whenever you are painting skin or any part of skin just keep just remember to keep some harsh shadows there as i just did on the tip of the nose or just above the tip of the nose I'm also adding this color right at the base of the nose just to make it look like it is kind of blending out with the whole skin or the whole face. I'm also adding these two lines as you guys can see just to make it look more buttony like if that makes any sense now here I am picking up this um, color again which was from the orange undertone and I'm adding this around the bridge of the nose just to make it uh, just to balance it out with the whole tip of the nose as the tip of the nose looks so dark and shadowy not shadowy but looks so good so just to balance things out i'm adding this color around the bridge of the nose and i'm also picking up this lighter um version of that maroonish color or pink color in a sense and adding the color again around the bridge of the nose just adding some life to the nose so that's what i am doing right here so now what you want to do is create a new layer and you can place it anywhere you want to and and i'm going to add this really pinkish kind of color on the tip of the nose just to make it look more cute i like pink noses and if you don't you can skip this step completely and i'm adding this color really light-handed and if at certain point you feel as if the color looks too harsh you can always go ahead and use the colorless brush as i'm doing right here now comes my favorite part which is highlighting so for that as well i'm creating this new layer right above all of the layers that we created and i'm using this pure white color you can use any color you can use a lighter version of the skin color as well but i like to use white color and i'm using the similar soft air brush and i'm being really light-handed when i am creating these little highlights around the nose also make sure the size of the brush is according to the size of the part of the nose that you are highlighting and i'm doing just that and do not worry about it being harsh or anything of that sort because we are going to be blending that out with the colorless brush now make sure to decrease the size of the colorless brush as well because we just want to blend the edges out of those little highlights so the size of the colorless brush actually depends on the size of the highlight that you have added i really hope you guys that makes sense because we just want to blend out the edges of that highlight and we don't really want to blend it all out so that's what i'm doing here and it's almost done you guys this was the last step you can play around with the highlight part of it you can play around with it you can see what looks good what doesn't look good and where to place the highlights so i always um, add highlights on the bridge of the nose and the tip of the nose above the nostrils a little bit so it just depends on you where you want to add those highlights on the nose other than that the nose is complete you can retouch some areas of the nose if you feel like doing so after adding the highlights but for me the nose is complete and i really hope you guys enjoyed today's quick quick tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up it really motivates me a lot also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday also if you do create something out of my tutorials 
then tag me on instagram and i will link it down in the description as well also do not forget to watch the videos i suggested they are really really helpful other than that i will see you guys the next time